Hi, welcome to another episode of the Walkdown Lectionary. We've been spending several episodes focusing on Psalm 15, so here's the text. O Lord, who may abide in your tent? Who may dwell on your holy hill? Those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth from their heart, who do not slander with their tongue and do no evil to their friends, nor take up a reproach against their neighbors, in whose eyes the wicked are despised, but who honor those who fear the Lord, who stand by their oath even to their hurt who do not lend money at interest and do not take a bribe against the innocent. Those who do these things shall never be moved. Well, one of the beautiful things about this psalm is that it gives us positive, proactive steps towards behaving in a way that more closely resembles the way life will be in the coming kingdom of God. And as is often the case in directions and instructions from God, the steps listed here have to do with the way that we relate to and treat other people. So listen again to the things the psalmist offers as ways to please God. Don't slander, reproach, or do evil to others. Don't tolerate the wicked. Stand by your promises. Don't take advantage of others by accepting bribes or lending money at interest. All of these actions are about building up honest, open, and positive relationships with one another. But it can be hard to apply these guidelines to everyone. We all know someone who is, for whatever reason, very hard to love. What what do we do with people who don't reciprocate with these same guidelines? Why does God want us to love those who don't love us back? Well, we need to remember that everyone we encounter is a child of God. Everyone. And even though it can be incredibly hard at times, we are called to treat them in the same way that we would treat God. It's a tough challenge, but when we start to love those who don't love us, we take another step towards making God's kingdom a reality here on earth. Let's pray. God, it's hard to love everyone all the time, but we know that that's what you've called us to do. Give us the strength and courage to love boldly in your name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me again today. There are musical selections in the comments underneath this video. Be safe, stay at home, and wash those hands. Peace be with you.